goldenticker.com. On Tuesday, June the 11th after market, um, we're going to go through some stocks in uh, gold and silver here. This is the NASDAQ composite, down about a percent today. And you can see uh, that we topped out here uh, in uh, um, around the 25th of May here at uh, 35.32, and we have been grinding lower ever since. Uh, you can almost draw a line along the tops here to see the point of resistance here that we've not been able to really get above here. Um, today we got turned away here at this red line which is the 21 day moving average and it looks like we're going down here to challenge this 3378.24 which will put us in striking range of this blue line the 50 day moving average which is usually a point of support uh, it did break through it here closed a couple days below it here but got back above it very quickly same back here uh, not even a close below it and bounced right off of it so this is a point where longer term investors will step in and support the market if they feel it is going to go higher and even going back here till uh, to February we can see the support at the 50 day so the Nasdaq has had a history all year long of being supported at the 50 day mov moving average will it happen uh, let's find out Looking at the Dow Industrial Average, down about three quarters of a percent today. Same story, draw a line along the tops. And uh, it did come down here and challenge the 50 day, bounced right off of it, and now coming back down uh, on a pickup in volume today. Let's see what happens. The broader New York Stock Exchange, much steeper fall. You can see this line, about a 45 degree line down along the tops here. Challenging the 50 day right now as we speak, down a 1.1% today on a pickup in volume and closing below the 50 day moving average. So not finding support there uh, yet. Um, same story here. We have found support all year long. Uh, worst uh, a correction here in April, a couple days below it, but uh, righted it itself back up. Let's see what happens here. Very crucial time uh, for stocks. And one last look at stocks here. Here's the S&P 500. Uh, turned away at the 21-day moving average on a pickup in volume going back down to test the 50-day moving average. So, um, you know, stocks have been uh, uh, correcting back, giving back some of these gains now for a couple of weeks. Uh, markets are under pressure, according to IBD. Uh, still in an uptrend, but under pressure. And uh, trying to find support at this key moving average here. Now, should we break down uh, from here, uh, next stop will be 1567. Uh, 1567 for the S&P 500 uh, at the 100 day moving average and then if that fails all the way down here to 1500 uh, at the 200 day moving average uh, so uh, yeah uh, let's see what happens don't try to fight this uh, downtrend in the short term um, you know you want to raise some cash sell your weaker acting stocks any stocks that are giving you uh, trouble with a seven or eight percent loss uh, should be sold in my opinion as we wait this uh, mini uh, pullback out Moving on now to the gold mining stocks, here's the GDX down a whopping 3.3% today, losing control of its 21-day moving average. Uh, had rallied up here, had a nice couple of weeks. Coming up to challenge this 50-day uh, 50, 50 moving average, uh, which it's been under all year long uh, and not been able to even get a close above it. Came, butted up against it, and turned away uh, four sessions uh, uh, of a pullback here. Um, uh, on a pickup in volume today, uh, all, albeit it is at just average volume, but it uh, looks like it's coming back down here to t uh, test this little leg at the 2702 and then possibly get down here to the 2624 and test that. So a uh, little bit of a downtrend here uh, in the GDX after a nice rally. Let's see what happens. Watch this one closely. We do have this 10-day moving average, this uh, a gray line in a very strong position, crossing over the 21 and probably going to cross the 50-day moving average in the next day or two, uh, which could bring some more momentum players into the market. So GDX, one to watch, possible bottom here. Uh, a few months here of, of uh, bouncing along these lows here, and uh, uh, I would not be surprised if uh, we had a direction change at some point. As I've said in the past, 3127 is our key juncture here to get out of this 
uh, double bottom uh, trend that we're in. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, hopefully uh, we can do that. Uh, you could uh, look at this as a double bottom now with a handle. One more day. Uh, one more day and we'll have a handle here, a downward sloping handle with a 30.58 uh, uh, inflection point. In other words, if we get 10 cents above that, 30.68, uh, we could be in an uptrend very quickly. And moving on now to gold, uh, this is the GLD, the gold ETF, down a half a percent today. Uh, and we have uh, uh, three days of a close below the 21-day moving average. We did cross the 10-day, did cross the 21, a little bit of a bullish sign. Volume's been kind of weak here, so not a lot of sellers here. Just kind of drifting lower after a couple of weeks of grinding higher, uh, challenging this 21-day. Uh, got a close above it, one-day close. Looked like we were going to head straight up to the 50, but got turned away. Uh, on some pretty good volume and uh, now we're just uh, sort of uh, uh, pushing uh, down here uh, to the uh, uh, you know test some of these lows here along the 30 the 132 131 level here so bouncing along the lows here again uh, in quiet volume kind of a base forming action here we do have some momentum MACD uh, 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 pushing to the upside and uh, we did top out on the stochastics here hit a peak here and pulling back a little bit here uh, RSI is flattened out, but did have a nice uptrend. So uh, just kind of, uh, you know, I would call this basing in the gold, if anything. Now, I've mentioned before in the gold uh, that uh, this is a normal correction. Uh, this is a 21-month correction, 31.3% pullback. Uh, the last uh, big correction we had was a 19-month correction with a 34% pullback. And then before that, we had a 17-month uh, a uh, cup uh, formation here with a 22.5% correction. So it looks to me like, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's pretty much reaching uh, the uh, end uh, uh, timing-wise of a correction. Now, I went ahead and I did some cycle timing and, and drew some uh, uh, previous cycles out. And we are at the end of a cycle looking for a direction change here. Uh, since we've been down, it would be to the upside here. So, um, you know, technically, um, basing here and uh, um, cycle timing-wise could uh, be ready for a move to the upside. Silver monthly, uh, same kind of story. Uh, we've had 25 months of a correction here in silver with almost a 60% correction. And believe it or not, we had the same type of thing uh, uh, back here uh, in 08 to, to 2011. And um, this was a nasty one, 61% uh, correction in 31 months. So, um, you know, I mean, as bad as this seems, I mean, this is pretty much what silver does. I mean, it's very volatile. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, it takes a long time to uh, you know to uh, come off the highs and retake those highs. So don't give up hope. Uh, uh, so far, it's still a very normal uh, uh, thing that silver is doing here. And analyzing the daily chart of silver down 1.2% uh, today. And again, you know, we got this bottoming action. In fairly light volume, we did have a pretty heavy uh, volume day here, uh, and uh, back here, of course, a big volume day. But a lot of churning, you know, not much uh, uh, price action, just a lot of volume here, and uh, moving sideways. Broke down from that sideways action here um, uh, on some big volume here, but st so far just basing uh, down below the 21-day moving average. So uh, still in a downtrend, nothing to get excited about yet in silver, but cycle-wise uh, uh, could be ready to make a move to the upside, and uh, the basing pattern is, uh, is looking fine.
So that's about it. Thanks for listening, and uh, hopefully uh, this helps. Uh, markets are in a short-term downtrend. Long-term trend is up. Uh, gold and silver, long-term downtrend. Short-term trend is neutral.